In the end, it was a landslide, Mike Nesbitt, the new leader of the Ulster Unionist Party. With over 80% of the vote, it was a clear indication the party wants a new direction. A 536 to 129 margin, John McAllister conceding victory to the Strangford MLA. It looked good for Mike Nesbitt from early morning, greeting for Mana delegates as they left their buses to cast their votes. Many already clearly deciding their choice before even the candidates' speeches. When the result was announced, it was the size of the victory which surprised many. Mr Nesbitt admitting the party faces a tough task rebuilding. Well, what I said is there's no quick fix and there is no big idea beyond our 2,000 members committing together to a long haul of hard work. Now, within that, over 100 days, I am in the back of my mind thinking about this and that, and, and that will become clear uh, over the next couple of weeks. And I think one of the advantages for me uh, of us going into recess is that I don't have to start announcing today or tomorrow or Monday all the plans, all the reshuffle and all that. I've got a couple of weeks to, to put things into position, but it's a long haul project. But you will reshuffle your team? There'll be uh, a partial reshuffle. I think, for example, I should come off Deputy Chair of Education. I, I'm totally focused at this stage on what needs to be done in terms of the party. John McAllister said he would be supporting the new leader. I've always said I'm a party loyalist. Whatever the party um, decides, I would abide by that, whether it had been you know, a 50% plus one, whatever. You, know, you can't put yourself up for election and then suddenly not accept the outcome of that election. The UUP Assembly Group will meet early next week to hear their new leader's plans. Mike Nesbitt will make a mini reshuffle of his party as early as next week, and the position of Danny Kennedy as minister will be watched closely. But with a result like this, the new leader is in a particularly strong position. Ken Reid, UTV Live, at the Ulster Unionist AGM in Belfast.